Hey, people want to know, have you read the Book of Mormon? We might respond, have you read the Book of Mormon? For our Navy ship during war games, they would shut the hatches and turn off the vents. Man, the air was bad. Shut off the air in a submarine, and where are you then? You're dead. You know, up on our roof, I leaned over near a vent and got a rush of the sewer fumes. That's a good way to get a headache. You see, these Book of Mormon boats have no bathroom fans. Drive past a hog farm and just stop the car and listen to the kids. Or you're in a stinking public toilet and the door is locked. And what about these floods at sea, Ether 224? At sea, we had waves, swells, and spray, but never floods. Joseph Smith saw floods in New York State, right? But floods in the ocean? They're only floods. would be the floods of urine. You see the waves drenching their food, polluting their water, or drowning the kids. And do you know how much manure builds up during a winter in a cow barn? Or 11 months as these barges roll through the water? If you ever worked on hog farms, you know. Slop, slop. You've got to get that stuff out of there. A guy hands you a bucket and says, We have to dump urine over the top. You want the top of the ladder or the bottom? I'm not taking the bottom. I'm taking the top. None of that stuff dripping on me. So our happy Jaredites are going merrily through the sea. You don't know heroes until you've read this story because in our Navy ship facing heavy seas, we heard more cursing than singing. The typhoon was bad, but we never had mountainous waves or to roll to the bottom of the sea. My wife is extremely helpful and cheerful, but she would not be happy. Ladies love hygiene, but these Jaredites? Angelic. Watch these ladies chasing a toddler, slipping through dark stalls, knee-deep in dung, and while the crafts are going crazy, tossing upon the waves, Ether 6-5. Maybe your husband asks, how are you handling this today? I've not had a shower for months, but that's okay, he says. I'd hug you if you didn't smell so bad. We're not praying about the Book of Mormon today. We're examining it. God says to test it. Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. 1 Thessalonians 5.21